Hello everyone. I hope you can see me. Hope you can see all my stuff. Today I'm going to make up some some agar with some dextrose. High quality agar agar powder right from Japan. Some nutritional yeast and the cheapest coffee that I can get my hands on and uh, mushrooms like coffee it's also used to balance the pH I like to raise the pH up just a little bit to deter any kind of contamination so first because I'm gonna make up 900 milliliters of agar. I'm going to put in eighteen grams more or less. Eighteen point one is good. One gram. Of coffee. Doesn't have to be exact. Gonna put in one half of a gram of nutritional yeast. It's really light. If you're wondering why I keep bumping the scale because from using uh, malt light or light malt extract as soon as it hits the uh, humid air it gets a little uh, sticky turns into a syrup uh, that's why I'm switching to the dextrose because I'm getting sick and tired of the stickiness all over everything from the light malt extract so we're making 900 milliliters of agar. So that's two grams per 100 milliliters. So that's 18 grams of agar agar powder. Eighteen point one is good enough. Always filter my agar mixture, not the agar powder itself, but whatever I'm mixing. That way it gets rid of any uh, lumps and bumps and my agar turns out to be really smooth and clear. You don't want a whole bunch of ugly stuff in your agar. So you see I folded my filter just to have it nice and fluted. I also have a straw. I don't know if you can see that but I cut a little 45 degree angle out of it so I can bend it. So I put that inside the funnel underneath the filter and that is just to keep the filter from sticking 
to the side of the funnel to let air through. This funnel jams right into the bottle that I'm using. So I'm going to take I'll do three hundred milliliters of water. And wash this down. I switch my hands here so you can see this. that run through for a second So that was 300 milliliters. I will measure out another. Six hundred milliliters. wait for that to drop down a little. Good enough for me. Let's get rid of that extra moisture. I always fold this up and then kind of lightly squeeze out all the extras. Do not squeeze the extras out into the end of the filter because it'll snap. You'll get all that goop inside your agar and you won't be very happy. Add our agar to the water. Making sure you stir it up really, really well. Make 
making sure not to burn the shit out of your fingers. Because it is hot. Knock the whole bottle over. That's it. Put on your cap. Stir it up using a 1.5 liter wine bottle. Because I can get those for free, I'm definitely not spending $25 on a little media bottle because it's science glass. So I'm going to tighten that up, give it a just a quarter turn back to loosen it up. I'm going to PC this at 15 PSI for 35 to 45 minutes. Usually 45 minutes. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Hope you enjoyed. Have any questions, please leave them down there in the comments. If you like this video, please hit that like. Much love.